Oui. Forgive me. I was afraid you might leave. No, Alex, I know you must be busy. Yes, I am. But the worst thing about business is the pressure. It makes you all before your time. Not in your case. Well, you look ravishing. Even prettier than I remember. Thank you. Do you like champagne? Why not? S'il vous plaît. Monsieur? Piper Heidsig, rare, 1985. S'il vous plaît, monsieur? I haven't told you how sorry I am about your father. He was a wonderful friend, Alicia, and a man of conviction. But it's a changing world, and he couldn't move forward with the changes. I will miss him. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Now, tell me about you. There must be someone in your life. Hmm? Tell me about it. This guy in Devlin, maybe? No. No. He seemed very attentive. Even if he isn't much good on a horse. <laughs> I met him on the plane. He's OK. You look good together. Really? <laughs> As a matter of fact, there, there isn't anybody right now. Well, then, perhaps I can see you again tomorrow, tomorrow night. Well. Oh, please, say yes. You look gorgeous, just great. Doesn't she do? She does. Could you help me with this, please? Oh, well, I'll try. Keep your eyes and ears open. We want to know all the names of the people you meet. I think I can handle that. And be careful. It may be dangerous people. OK. We don't want them to get the idea you're too curious. Got it. Doing a hell of a job for us, Alicia. Getting an invitation to his house so soon is more than we could have expected. Isn't that right, Dev? Absolutely. I'm so glad you're happy. Well, your taxi's waiting. Miss Valores, good evening. Alicia? Yes. I'm Alex's sister, Katerina. Welcome. Thank you. This is a beautiful house. Now I understand why Alex goes on about you the way he does. My condolences about your father. He'll be missed. Thank you. Come, let me introduce you. I thought it was interesting you didn't testify at his trial. He didn't want me to. I don't know if it would have made a difference anyway. It's sad, really. Things are moving so rapidly for us. 
Your father clung to the old order. And in the new order, there are so many opportunities for us. Alex. I told you she was stunning, didn't I, Carrie? Lovely. I'll take it from here. This way, Alicia. There are some people I want you to meet. Alicia, meet an old family friend, Victor Rosanov. How do you do? Dobre vitsia. Kak diala. Hrasho. Back, Victor, back. And Marco Tomazzini of Banca Palatina. Buonasera, signor Tomazzini. Sono molto felice di fare la sua conoscenza. Il piacere è mio. Benvenuta, signora. And the inimitable Dr. Emil Gerhardt. One of my company's scientific wonders. I'm always wondering exactly what it is he does. <laughs> well, I'm delighted. Danke, Herr Doctor. And lastly, but not least, never, General. General Nikolai Genayev. General? Delighted. I knew your father for many years. Nikolai is our guest of honor tonight. He just arrived from Moscow on important secret business. We hope to get him drunk enough so he'll tell us everything. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Van Damme? Oh, Tarek, forgive me. Alicia, Mr. Tarek Alassan, and Miss Fremont. Miss Valores, your beauty is even greater than I had heard. Mahabra. That's the extent of my Arabic. I'm sorry. Charming. I just saw a picture in People magazine. I believe you made quite a hit, my dear. Le dîner est servi, madame. Merci. Mm. Friends? Everyone, dinner. General, here beside me. Victor? Where are you, Victor? Coming. Beside Alicia. Were you here when Crystal wrapped his home up? Oh, I missed it, but I think it was a silly idea anyway. You think he makes any money doing that? Oh, yes, he has big benefactors. Maybe he'll wrap the ice cream next time. What? What about it? No, you're mistaken. No, it's true. You are mistaken, my friend. Mistaken. Now, sit down. Here we are. Is everyone comfortable? <laughs> an understandable mistake. The man is exhausted. He works night and day. Dangerous mistake. Not the first. He has become a liability. So, what do you want to do? Remember, he's one of us. We must all agree. I think I can deal with the situation. Perhaps I will drive Emil home tonight. If there are no objections. Good. Cathy wants to know if you'd like some coffee in here. No, no, I think we'll join the others. I'm sorry. It was foolish. I mean, what I did, uh, it won't happen again. I I can assure you. How do the Americans say? Tense. We're all a little tense, Emil. Maybe you most of all. It was an unforgivable display. You have been working too hard. You need a rest. Alex, don't you agree? Yes. Your health is very important to us, Emil. That's very considerate. I am tired. So, Alex, perhaps, if you'll make my excuses. Emil, allow me. I have an early day tomorrow. I will drive you home now. No, please. It's not necessary. Nonsense. I insist. I could use your company. Good night, everyone. Again, uh, I'm sorry.
thank you for a marvelous dinner, Aunt Alex. Please tell Katya. I don't think they can see us. So, did you find out anything interesting? I don't know. I met a General Ganaev. Mm -hmm. He flew in from Moscow. He was the guest of honor the other night at the party. They seemed to defer to him. Let's see. And a Dr. Gerhardt, German. He made a big scene about a wine bottle. Wine bottle? He seemed to think there was something else in it. Was there? No, we drank it. There was an Italian banker named Tomasini and an Arab, a Rocky, most likely, Terragal Hassan. How do you United Nations? Starting eight? Anybody else? No, no one interesting. Mm -hmm. Let me decide who's interesting. Well, some of the men brought hookers as dates. Okay. Your Alicia has been gone a long time. Katie, jealousy doesn't become you. Jealousy? Yes, jealousy. And you might smile at her occasionally. Isn't it enough that one of us is grinning at her like a lovesick schoolboy all the time? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't? No. And I want to enjoy myself today, with or without your assistance. I see. Is that why you're spying on her? So how are you getting along with Sebastian? Fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. He's having the time of his life. So you're a regular pro. It's what you wanted, isn't it? It's why I'm here. Forget it. You betting on the race? Alex says number 10's a sure bet he knows the owner. Well, thanks for the tip. Yeah, they've been holding him back all season. What's the matter? No, nothing. I'm just remembering how you said you were a new woman, you know? Everything was different. I could almost hear the violins. <laughs> you son of a bitch. How can you say that? You knew what they wanted me to do. Did I? You could have stopped me with one word, but no, you threw me at I didn't throw you at anything. Didn't you say, go ahead? No, a man doesn't tell a woman what to do. She does exactly what she wants to do. But you almost had me believe in your act. That you've been changed by love. You really are a bastard. That's why I didn't force you. That's why I didn't stop you. To be your decision. Oh, I see. Yeah. It was a test. Let's see if she passes, see what kind of woman she really is. Oh, that's right. Well, he never believed in me anyway, so what's the difference? Well, it's lucky for both of us I didn't. I could have been messing. Pull well, yourself together. Here comes Casanova. Hello there. That was, um, that was very exciting, beautiful voice. You remember Devlin, Alex? Yes, I do. Yes, yeah, nice to see you. At least you told me about number 10. I wish I'd known. Pity. Oh, well, I'm gonna run. Uh, see you around. Goodbye. 
So, did you have a lot of money on it? I didn't see the race. You didn't, I thought... I was watching you and your friend. <laughs> He's not my friend. No. Whatever he is, I'm still envious of his effect on you. He doesn't mean anything to me. Lovely. How long have you been staying here? A few weeks. All alone? Yes, Alex. Alicia, you must admit that running into Devlin had a certain impact on you. Whatever there might have been between us is ended like everything else in my life. Then perhaps it's time to start something new. You were so sweet. My fatal curse. All the great women fall for the devlins of this world. Young, good-looking, and cruel. That's true. I thought so. But sometimes a man comes along just as a woman who has been foolish for years is ready to make a better choice. I'd give anything to be that choice for you. But my attractions are, are less obvious. What do I do? Tell me. Sit down. Alex, you think too little of yourself. You're a very special, handsome man. Do you know what we all want, Alex? What we're all looking for? Someone that we can reveal our deepest, darkest secrets to. Someone who can love even the worst parts of us. We all want to reveal our true selves. With you, I feel that I could reveal everything. You can. Only if you help me. Victor Rosanoff is Sebastian's new security man. Ex-KGB, former Spetsnaz. The most lately Russian military liaison to Damascus. Not your average Boy Scout. You think he's the one who took out Gerhardt? What do you mean, took out Gerhardt? Uh, Devlin doesn't know. Now what? Gerhardt's body was found yesterday. What was left of it? So why wasn't I told this? Actually, it slipped my mind. It slipped your mind. I've got an inexperienced agent out there. If these guys start killing each other, I'm the one who's got to bring her in. I'm the one who's responsible for her. So don't tell me it slipped your mind. Objection noted. Yeah. Alicia Valoris is here. She'd like to see you. Now? She said if it's possible. Show her in. Speaking of inexperience, your agent's here. What? I don't like this. What the hell is going on, Devlin? No idea. Hello, Alicia. Hello, Norman. May I introduce Mr. Brenner and Monsieur Jarret? Hello. Hello. Please, have a seat. I thought we discussed the proper way to communicate. Hello, Devlin. I'm serious, this isn't a game. I realize that, and I apologize, but I couldn't get in touch with you, and I needed some advice right away. Has something happened? Yes, you could say that. Alex asked me to marry him. Well, well this, this is unexpected. He wants to do it right away. I have to give him my answer at dinner. I see. So, do you think that this would be helpful? Yes, definitely. I mean, I s 
see it as a golden opportunity. I mean, you know, if you're willing, Alicia. Then you would recommend it? Yes. Yes. Mr. Devlin? I think it might be useful. Well, you know the situation better than anyone else. So what inspired him to uh, propose marriage? He's in love with me. That's what he says. And he thinks that you're in love with him? Yes. That is what he thinks. I see. It's perfect. How can Sebastian's friends doubt his wife? It's perfect. You're a natural, Alicia. I knew it the moment I laid eyes on you. Did you? Absolutely. <sighs> well, this doesn't change anything, so... You're still in danger. You still meet the same way. Same time, same place, Rodin Museum. All right. Everything's arranged, then. She's young enough to be your daughter. She wants something, can't you see that? What she wants is stability. I can provide that. What I want I is... I know what you want. I've always known what you wanted. And I'm the one who made sure you always got it. Have you forgotten, Alex? But this one is different. She's smart. Oh, Alex, listen to me. I want you to have your fun, you know that. But please, please don't marry her. We don't need the complications, not now. Not with everything else that's going on. The wedding will be next week. It will be small. And we'd most like you to attend. But it will take place with or without your blessing. And it will be beautiful, like my bride. I'd rather have your blessing. You know that. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. And just a minute. I think we are forgetting something. Welcome home, Mrs. Sebastian. I'm going to need more closet space. What about this one in the hall that's locked? It's a storeroom, madam. Could I have the key? I'm sorry, I don't have the keys. Where are they? Madam Sebastian has them. Oh, do you know where Alex is? Monsieur Sebastian has a business meeting downstairs. Gerard was a first-class chemist. His departure has slowed us down. Allow me to be perfectly frank. I don't give a damn what your problems are, and my people care even less. You promised us a delivery date, and we expect you to keep to it. Mr. al Hassan, is this necessary, this confrontation? I fulfill my obligations, gentlemen, one way or the other. I only ask you to do the same. We are all honorable men here, are we not? I have a small inconvenience, nothing more. I perform a courtesy to you by informing you of this fact. As I you said... Damage my business in any way, and you will regret it. You are an errand boy, Mr. Alassane. 
You sit at this table only because of the people you represent. No other reason. Expensive suits and table manners don't change that fact. You forget. We are dealing with a very dangerous and desirable product. I could find a new buyer by this afternoon if I care to. But tell me, my friend, how would you find a new supplier? Hmm? And worse, how would you explain such a predicament to your people? You enjoy my hospitality a few more days, and we conclude our business. Oh, darling, please come in. No, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were busy. No, no, we're finished. What can I do for you? It's, it, it isn't important. It can wait. It's just some closets that were locked. Really? Let's see what we can do. <laughs> I'll be right back. Monsieur Sebastian has the only key to the wine cellar, madam. Oh? Yes. I see. Thank you, Joseph. Okay, so we have to find a way to look in that wine cellar. I'll have to find a way to get the key. Any ideas? I'll think of something, but what do I look for when I get it? They look for a bottle of wine like the one that bothered Gerhard that night. A bottle of wine, Deb? A bottle of wine is a bottle of wine. What does that mean? All right, look, your husband's big in the social scene, right? Bindles. So you get him to throw a big bash in honor of your marriage. And? and you invite me. Oh, that'll go over real big. You do it. You get the key, I'll find a way to look in the wine cellar. I don't think my husband is very interested in socializing these days. Honeymoon isn't over yet? You could say that. Just can't get enough of you, huh? Yeah, you could say that, too. I bet you can get him to do just about anything. Maybe I can. But even so, it'll be difficult to invite you for some reason he thinks you're in love with me. Well, use it. I mean, tell him that you thought that if you invited me and I realized how deliriously happy you two were, I'd see that I didn't stand a chance. I don't know. He's very jealous. Try it. All right, I'll try you're not, you know, like Prescott said, you're doing great. You have a future in this. I don't think so. I would rather enjoy the rest of my life. Bye. I'm surprised that Devlin's coming tonight. Of course, I can't blame any red-blooded male for being crazy about you. But I just hope nothing happens that would give him any false hope. What could possibly happen? Now you know. It isn't that I don't trust you. But when you fall in love at my age and get married, after so many years of searching, <sighs> every man who even looks at your wife is an enemy. Will you forgive me for being an old fool? Alex, there's nothing to forgive. I love you so much. 
so much. No sign of that. Who? Your friend, of course. Oh, Alex. Ah, uh, Mr. Ambassador. Good evening, Alex. Congratulations. So nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you.